all right so in this video i'm going to be making a straight staircase and to do so i'm going to be using the quickest simplest method i can think of anyway let's not waste any more of your time and get going all right so if i have a cube right here all i need to do is just scale it up to whatever size i want so for example i want each of the steps to be this high then after that all i need is just to array it and let's not do it along the x let's just do it y and z and just increase the number like the count and you basically have a simple staircase this is like the absolute basic of what you basics of what you want but what if you want to use constant offset because you can't actually add details to something like this uh, let me just quickly demonstrate this over here for example if i were to add this detail uh one second this detail over here we would get these gaps between the different staircases so how do i fix that well it's not really that complicated let's just undo the detail and come over here i'm gonna turn off the relative offset press n to look at the actual dimensions of the object and we were doing y and z directions so just copy the y value and copy the z value so it is important that you apply all the transforms because these values one second let me just quickly apply all, all the transforms because if i do scale it and i don't apply the transforms it might be like a little bit messy because array modifier actually you know doesn't know about the transforms anyway let's not waste any more time on that and now we can easily just one second there we go now we can easily add as much detail as we want. So for example, if I were to add, say, a railing to this staircase, or if I wanted to like increase this gap just a tiny bit, something like this, I could easily do that. Or if I wanted to do something like this, uh, I'm no longer like, I'm no longer limited in what I want to add. Uh, I'm just quickly going to demonstrate that as well. Um, let's just scale these up and okay so I'm gonna turn on the pivot point and the vertex but you can't actually hit that with this so I'm gonna have to add another plane I'm gonna have to move it and let's just move it around here all right so now and I move it up there we go all right so how do you join these two without it looking actually you know ugly well it's not really that complicated just do something a bit like this and a bit like this uh, what happens if i join these two faces yeah that's more like it that is a lot better and there you have it like you basically have your reeling that you've always wanted in your life um, it is possible to change the way it looks by simply um, moving this inward to make it like slightly more thinner but honestly adding more details is not the point of this video this video's point is just to help you make staircases that you can add details to i will do a separate video with like more details in the future so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye all right so if you liked the video feel free to subscribe and leave a comment if you didn't like it, still leave a comment. Let me know how I can improve my future videos. Thank you.